Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So PowerDirector has just released a new feature, an AI enabled feature, surprise, surprise, but this one's really cool. It's able to take a still photo or image and turn it into a video with movement. So I'm gonna take this image right here and see what kind of movement we can get out of it. So let's just get started. So here we are in PowerDirector. Just in case you're wondering, this is a picture of me many years ago in Mexico on a vacation, but a beautiful background of the beach there. And so I just wanna turn this image into a video. So let's do it right now. Just go to image to video right here, click on that. And it's gonna tell you, it's gonna take credits like many of the PowerDirector's AI features. Some do take credits. And so this is gonna be one of them. Hit okay through that. There's gonna be a few templates to choose from here. There's ones that are like, you know, there are two people and then there's one that are just for single people here. So I'm gonna look at the ones that are single, but I think the one that really, uh, the one that I really wanna look into is this thumbs up one. So I'm gonna just click on this and to ask you to put the photo there, I'm just gonna drag the photo up. It's a drag and drop. And you see from there, I'm just gonna crop it. I could do change aspect ratio. I could do like a vertical, but let me see what the one-on-one -on -one looks like. So I might do this one right here, just because I want to reduce the white space. Move it there and then hit OK. And so there's two different um, options as far as modes. I'm going to start with the standard mode right here and then I keep duration at five seconds. And that's going to require 15 credits there. I have more than enough credits for that. So I'm just going to hit that. So to get the my gen creations, you just hit this icon up here, this person icon, and then there'll be selection for my gen I creations. Go into that one there and then image and video. And that's where you'll find this one here. It actually only took a couple minutes to process. So here it is. I'm just gonna hit the checkbox and then download. It'll ask for which folder you want it to, to download it into. So I'm finished downloading the video file right now. For the video, I'll bring it right down here as well. And then just give you an idea. This is the image here and let's see what the video looks like. Oh, that's pretty good. Very nice. So one thing that came to mind when this video showed is the face here is actually, this is the original face here and this is the new one. It actually looks pretty similar there. So I'm actually really impressed by how they're able to keep the, keep the kind of like a lot of the facial expressions on top of like what I actually look like. So that's pretty cool. So that was a standard video. What I'm gonna do now is choose this professional one and see if there's any differences there. So I'm gonna do the same process all over again. I'm gonna do thumbs up, drag the photo here. Do a one-to-one -one again, keep it the same. So I'm gonna hit professional this time, five seconds and a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. This one's actually gonna take minus 25 credits here. So the other, the standard one took minus 15. Uh, so this is a few more credits and then I'm gonna hit generate. Let it do its thing. So the professional version is all done processing and it's this one right here. I'm just gonna download it real quick. So the download is complete and because these are almost identical, what I'm gonna do is just kind of change the name real quick, edit alias and just put PRO in front of it for professional. Let's see what it looks like. This is the professional version. It looks really good and really clean. And this is the side-by-side -side with the standard versus professional grade here. Let's see if there's any difference that you might notice. And this is the side-by-side -side with original versus professional here. Notice any differences? So I think there's very small differences between the standard and professional. Uh, a couple of things I notice is the coloring on the professional one is a little bit better than the, the original or the standard version here. And the second thing is the facial expressions, like which one looks a little bit more like me. I would say the professional one is a little bit more similar to my looks. I don't know if you think otherwise, leave a comment, but yeah, I think this one is a little bit more uh, similar to myself, but still standard is really good too. Um, but really impressed with this uh, image to video generator here. Really cool feature that PowerDirector has added. So that is a quick rundown of the image to video generator. Really cool feature, somewhat scary just because how realistic it is, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, thank you so much for sticking to the end and also be sure to check out my other PowerDirector videos. I'm gonna link them at the end screen and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye. Hello darkness, my old friend. No, we're messing around.